Hello everybody, my name is Eddie Gear to you and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the previous video, we conquered the final sanctuary in the game. And in today's video, we're going to be going through this mysterious place that we know absolutely nothing about, but we'll probably learn more about it as we go through this area. So without further ado, let's talk to this dude because he seems familiar. Ness, maybe you don't want to hear this, but you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. And we will never see him again. And let's go talk to this dude. Because he's bald and bald people are awesome. Ness, you stood on the eight power spots of the earth. From these, you created Magicant, the realm of your mind. In Magicant, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course, there's an evil and violent side of you. The Sea of Eden sits at the center of these feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. This is the room of Magicant, which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Ness. I have to say, Magicant, visual-wise, is one of my favorite locations in gaming. Because I just love how the colors change whenever you talk to somebody. It's really cool. On it was a quite small town, wasn't it? And if we go over here, we can talk to Ness's family. Brother Ness, the Sea of Eden is at the end of Magicant. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything else I can do for you? What do you want? Okay, um, this right here, you can uh, get some... Um, you can store and uh, buy some equipment. I'm going to be storing the ATM card and soundstone and things like that. Um, because... Wait, what the... I think it's a hang on to that now. Um, okay, can we store the soundstone? I could have sworn that you could have done that. Check out. Oh, is this, I thought this was the Scarlet Express. I didn't. I didn't think this was a story anything like that. Anyway, Whimper, wine. I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be small and weak. Oh, Ness, are you trying? Are you tired of traveling on your adventure? No. Okay, yes. If you wish, you can stay here forever. I'll make some stick for you. And Ness was never seen again. I'm just kidding. Now everything is all pink and stuff. Alright, again, I love the fact that this area, the, the colors change whenever we talk to somebody. It's a really awesome detail. Come on into Magic Cant. Alright, uh. I just realized something. Okay, um. This might seem a little cliche because these two games are compared to each other quite often, but these things are reminding me of that one flower character in Undertale. I'm sorry if that sounds cliche or whatever, and I'm sure people are tired of um, hearing comparisons between Earthbound and Undertale, but seriously, these guys look like Flowery from Undertale. Look at the sun, face the sun and smile, da da da. I believe all the flowers will say the same thing, um, no matter what you do, so um, do you have anything to say, buddy? I don't think I've ever talked to you. Ness, yes, did you learn how to tell what time I'm indicating? Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, Ness was a kid, so, like, it's probably or learning how to tell time or whatever. I have no idea what I was trying to say then. I have no idea what I was trying to say there. Over here we have a store we can go to. Ah, this shop specializes in puddings and pendants. So you'd like to buy some, wouldn't you? Um, we have magic pudding and earth pendant. Um, huh. This will give us... Okay, um, I was originally not going to buy that, but uh, I'm going to sell my current uh, item, the night pendant, and I'm going to buy the earth pendant, because it's apparently better. Um, I'm not going to be buying the magic, the magic pudding, though. That's going That will restore uh, power points, but I don't think we're going to need that for a while, um, because there's some items we're going to be picking up along the way that, um, that, would, that would do that for us anyway, so I'm not going to be buying any magic pudding for a while. I'm just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me, but you've heard my song in the back of your mind. Now, for some reason, I thought this was a hotel, but it apparently isn't, so yay, I'm wrong. Um, if we go over here, this, this is not an enemy, this is just an NPC, so you don't have to worry about that. You kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. And now everything is all dark and creepy. Holy God! I didn't realize that this these things have faces. Like, look at it. This is this is legitimately freaky. Uh, I'm 
to change it to something more pretty looking. Oh, uh, what do you have to say? Look at the sun, face the sun, smile. Holy oh, god. I remember we're gonna have nightmares about that. Holy, holy god. Okay, um, we have Master Barf right here. You destroyed my pride. Ugh. And now everything's all purple and pink and stuff. What does the sign up to say? Hey, it's magic again. Okay, that's fascinating. It's me. I'm you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. Uh, I prefer playing games. Like, I did have this one book that I had, like, a collection of comic books when I was a kid. Um, but... Oh, oh my god, it's so cute. Thank you for remembering me. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at that reminds me. When I was a kid, um, like, throughout my entire childhood, I'd only ever made one snowman in my entire life, and... Actually, no, it wasn't even me who made it. My sisters made it, and I was like, and I didn't really want to go outside, so like, I watched them from the window making the snowman. So, I just realized I never ever made, I've never made a snowman before. I feel sad now. Let's talk to the bunny. I'd like you to take your time, because this country will disappear when you wake up. That sounds like something else that I've last played. Peace. We haven't played together lately. Friss! Stay friends. Ness, Bucky took my snack. La 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 la. My name's Nico. Let's run and sing and dance. Yeah, long time no see, Ness. Why, Ness? Let's play. I am let's playing. What are you talking about? Ness, of the present. There's a piece of caramel inside. But he has too much stuff already. Okay, what do you have to say? I know the name of the girl you used to like. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't know anything. Well, okay, I was right. There is a hotel in this area. Please rest. The dream you will have here is a dream within a dream. Your heart knows things you aren't aware of. Do you want to sleep? No, I don't want to go into limbo. Alright, so let's go out here. Um, I really want to get that PSI caramel. Um, is there anything we can get rid of? Uh, it doesn't really look like it. I don't want to get rid of uh, the bags of Dragonite because those are going to be very really helpful going into the next area. But we are going to have to get rid of, rid of some stuff um, to get some more things a little bit later. What do you have to say? Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever, alright? Sure thing, Pokey. You sound like a nice person. We had fun one snowy day. I melted, but I am still real in your memory. Frickin' earthbound feelings. This is Buzz Buzz's tombstone. He appeared earlier in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. Frickin' earthbound feelings! I am your courage. I follow you here in Magican. My name? Let's say Flying Man! And now we have a new temporary party member, the Flying Man. You can only have one of these with you at a time. And you remember those... And you remember that um, uh, NPC enemy person thing that attacks everybody on the Magic Camp stage in Smash Brothers for 3DS? That's what this character is based off of. Um, now that being said, the Flying Man isn't exactly all that useful. We'll get more into that in a moment. Ness? I still feel the pain when you're where you wounded me. I didn't do anything. You don't have any proof. The Sea of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Now, I've praised the music in this game before. I love the Earthbound soundtrack, and I didn't get a chance to say it in the previous video, but I love the song that plays on the soundstone. Um, it, that song is called Smells and Tears. It's one of my favorite songs in gaming. This song that plays in this part of Magic Ant is another highlight, so I'm going to be quiet for a moment while we go through this area. Or not, because I was an enemy. I didn't realize I was an enemy because it looked like a regular treasure chest and it wasn't moving or anything like that. Anyway, we have our first enemy over here. This is a loaded dice. There are going to be two uh, charts uh, for this enemy because there are two different types of um, loaded die that you'll see in this area. Um, 
You can't really tell the difference between the two except for when it actually attacks. But let's go over the stats. 307 HP, 0 power points, 146 offense, 113 defense, 77 speed, 75 guts, 10,672 experience, 603 dollars to feed them, has a 4 and a 120 chance of dropping a PSI caramel, which is 100% one with fire, 100% one with freeze, 10 percent flash, 99% process, 99% brain like 0% process. The first type of load of die, so we'll call, uh, we'll summon the following enemies uh, when it calls for help. The Carefree Bomb, the Beautiful UFO, and the High Class UFO. The second type will summon the following enemies. The Electro Swoos, the Fobby, and the Uncontrollable Sphere. So, yeah, this enemy isn't all that fun. After all, the Electro Swoos, okay, now I know what you're going to be using. Um, you want to take out the loaded dice first because it's going to be continuously calling in more and more enemies as you go on. Personally, I think that the second type of electro of, the, of loaded dice is uh, the more um, annoying one of the two. Um, but and but I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that because if someone's the electro swoops, the electro the the uncontrollable sphere, and that explodes when you defeat it. Um, but um, the Electro Swoops has, has all electrical attacks, so, so if they go and attack you, um, you can have to reflect him bad to reflect it back at him, so um, it, that makes it pretty easy to defeat him, but at the same time, the Electrical Sphere is a pain in the butt to deal with. I don't, I'm not entirely sure if this enemy will still drop will still drop the uh, Broken Antenna when you defeat him in this area. It might, I'm not sure off the top of my head. Um, it probably will, in which case, if you didn't get it before, then now it's probably a good time to go get it. But I will warn you guys right now, if you if your level is in the high 90s at this point, try to avoid enemies because there's going to be a huge experience boost at the end of this area. So, um, you can defeat this enemy and uh, go on your merry way and be super amazing and have a mustache. So that right there is kind of the reason why I'm not really that fond of the, fly of the flying man in this game. Because, as cool as they are, they have really cool character designs, I will give them that. But they die really easily. I'm not entirely sure um, how much HP they have, but I'll put a caption on screen right now saying what it is. But a detail I really like is that you can see its grave. Whenever the flying men die, you will be able to see the grave within this uh, area of Magic Ant. It's right next to Buzz Buzz's, and um, it's really cool. But the downside is that there's only five of them in the entire game, and they die really easily. Um, think of them as a teddy bear that can attack people, in which case it's awesome. <laughs> All right, I think, thankfully, the hotel is nearby, so we're going to go heal up real quick. So I'm going to go uh, do that real quick, and I'll meet you guys back over to where we were a moment ago. That took way longer than it should have. That enemy, um, that stupid load of dice uh, had two high class, uh, two beautiful UFOs, a high class UFO, and a carefree bomb appear on screen at the same time. It took freaking forever to destroy it, and the flying man died within two turns of bantering that battle. Anyway, you may notice that there's another death on screen right here. You're not seeing things. This is a new NPC that you can talk to. This isn't like Sonic Next Gen or anything like that, where you have like two Sonics on screen because of like a weird glitch or whatever. But anyway, yeah, let's talk to him. Hey, me. I found my cap that you lost. I'm so stupid. There's lots of junk in my backpack at a time like this. Why don't I get rid of something I don't use? All right, so this may seem incredibly useful. Um, all he's gonna give you is like this. Is gonna all he's gonna give you is a new is a new hat. It's not really all that worth it though. What is worth it is this bag of Draconite right here that I cannot carry because I have too many things bag bags of Draconite. So what do I want to do? I really do want to do this, but I'd like to have uh, six things of bags of Dragonite, but I really just do not have room for it. So I'm gonna get rid of one of these bags, uh, and I'm going to buy. I'm gonna do, take another one. I really don't want to do that. It legitimately pains me to do this. 
but I just don't have enough room for it. That's another, that's going back into the thing I said, I was saying earlier in the game, earlier in the Let's Play about not really being that big of a fan of the, um, of the item, of how the item equipment thing has, uh, that, how the item management system in this game works. It's even worse in Earthbound Beginnings because you have weight, you can carry so much, so much less items in that game. That's probably sounds imp uh, grammatically improper, but I don't want to ingress right now because I'm taking French class apparently. The magic butterfly made nice for relax. Okay, thank you. Another magic butterfly! And you led me into a trap! No! <laughs> No! No! I hate this thing. Lord Dice is my least favorite enemy in the entire game. I'm just gonna say that right now. I freaking hate the Lord of Dice. Because, yes, it doesn't directly attack you, but it keeps summoning enemies. And it keeps summoning difficult enemies. The Carefree Bomb is my least favorite enemy in Magic Can. But the Loaded Dice is my least favorite enemy in the entire game because I freaking hate it. It is evil. Alright, now let's get back over here because now we're going to be finally making progress in this area. Um, we need to go over here, and inside here is a quest. Is a <sighs> which thing of equipment is that? I believe that is a thing that you, equip, you can equip on your arm. I'm gonna check that real quick. Yeah, the uh, goddess band is uh, something they equip on your arm. So I'm gonna drop uh, the uh, Jarab's band thing. How are you supposed to pronounce that? I'm gonna equip this, and I'm going to equip it. Yay! I think that I think that raises I think that was I think that's more powerful than the uh, thing of equipment we had a moment ago. I'm not entirely sure at the top of my head, but hey, Ness, how's it going, man? Hey, look, I'm over here. Hey, look, I'm over here. Ooh, eyeballs! Yay, eyeballs! I like fighting eyeballs because they're funny. I don't think this is a new. Oh, okay, yes, it is. Um, I was just about to say this is this is not a new enemy, but it apparently is. Anyway, yeah, this is the Electro Swoos. 543 HP, 338 power points, 140 offense, 456 defense, so 40 speed, five guests, 17,000, 75 experience, 791 dollars to read them. Has a four and a 120 chance of dropping a sun guts pill. Weakness is a 50% roll of fire, 100% roll of freeze, 99% fast, 50% paralysis, 10% brain attack, 50% paralysis. Attacks charges four, high level damage, electrical sock, PSI thunder beta, sends a greeting, no effect. Okay, it's integrating. Okay, this enemy is probably the easiest of the new enemies we're facing in this area, simply because of the fact that it has a PSI Thunder based attack, and if you still have the Franklin badge with you, then it will just reflect re reflect it directly back at them. So, you know, you shouldn't have that much of a problem dealing with those enemies unless you had the Franklin badge equipped with another party member, which I guess I can understand. I don't. Um, I'm gonna sort of ride you. Ooh, we defeated an enemy of Magic Kent on the Overworld! Magic Butterfly that I can't reach, and now I'm sad. Yes, the presence of the Magic Kent. Ooh! Magic Kent badge. Okay, we'll have to check into that after we're done fighting this dude. Now, something that's pretty interesting is Magic Kent also appeared in Earthbound Beginnings. I looked it up and I don't and I don't believe it appears in Mother 3. But Magic Ant does appear in Earthbound Beginnings. Um, but the thing is, it played a kind of a bigger role in that game because you um, would appear there pretty frequently. Um, let's get rid of the ultimate bat so we can get the Magic Ant bat. Um, you'd, you'd go back to, uh, Mag to Magic Ant and Earthbound Beginnings uh, pretty frequently um, for story reasons. I'm not going to be spoiling the story of Earthbound Beginnings. Um, but, um, you would go back there, um, pretty often in that game. Okay, this enemy is a Mr. Molecule. 280 power, uh, 280 HP, 21 power points, 118 offense, 97 defense, 18 speed, 5 guts, uh, 8,780 experience, $659 every them. Has a 2 and 120 chance of dropping a magic tart. We see 
Uh, one hundred percent water fire. One hundred percent water rephrase it. Ten percent flash. It was ninety percent process. Ninety percent brain like Zero percent process. Attack speed side flash alpha. Eighty five to eighty five percent chance of crying. And fifteen percent chance of strangeness. PSI fire alpha. Six hundred to one sixty to one hundred damage. Excuse me. Uh, PSI thunder alpha. Sixty to one hundred eighty damage. PSI freeze alpha. One hundred thirty five to two hundred fifty five damage. Now, fun fact. Um, when I was playing out this, when I was playing this game on my first playthrough. It was around here. I believe it was this exact enemy, but um, it was this enemy that made me decide that when I wanted to do the when I was gonna make the Earthbound Battle charts, that I wanted to use either a clay model of these enemies or the exact sprite of the enemies um, on the on the charts. So that's pretty. That's a pretty fun, nifty little detail that nobody but me cares about. I think there's one more enemy in this area that we haven't seen yet. No, two of them, actually. I haven't gone over the stats for the Carefree Bomb yet. Um, I'm really hoping they appear soon, because uh, it's one of my favorite enemies in the entire game. Magic Tart... Ooh, we don't need that. At least I think we don't. Maybe. Um, maybe we don't need it. I'm a little concerned right now, though. This enemy. Carefree Bomb and Loaded Dice are two of my least favorite enemies in the entire game. The Carefree Bomb, 504 HP, 0 power points, 135 offense, 215 defense, 31 speed, 15 guts, 14,941 experience, 641 dollars to defeat them. Has a 4 and a 1 to 20 chance of dropping a Super Bomb, Mood System, 50% World of Fire, 50% World of Freeze, 50% Flash, 50% Process, 50% Brands, like 10% Plus. Attack throws a bomb, explosive based damage, throws a Super Bomb, like high expl a level explosive damage. This enemy is a huge jerk because he throws bombs every single time that he attacks and he kills your flying men left and right. This enemy is the mass murderer of all flying men for, and for that, he's a bay. Now that we got over the stats for that enemy, there's one more enemy that I really want to sew off but I can't find it anywhere. Yeah, I'll teach you to concentrate, Mr. Molly Cool. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit until I find this enemy. I might be here a little while. Um, hopefully I won't be. Hopefully this will be it, actually. No, it is not. It's just another stupid Mr. Molly Cool. We finally found it! Be prepared for awesomeness, because the enemy see in front of the Electro Swoops is my favorite enemy name in the entire game. Earlier, we fought the Kiss of Death. This is the French Kiss of Death! It is so beautiful and amazing! <laughs> this is one of my favorite enemies in the entire game. But I mean, the stats, 580 HP, 0 power points, 160 offense, 160 defense, 30 speed, 7 guts, 19,210 experience, 879 dollars to defeat them, has a 2 and a 1 to 20 chance of dropping a horde of life, weaknesses, 75% of normal fires, 5% of normal freezes, 10% flash, 50% process, 0% brain stock, 99% process, attacks, kiss of death, can cause poison. Remember earlier in the let's play when I was saying that um, uh, the that the kiss of death was like one of my favorite parts of the game, but for something we'll be seeing later, this is exactly what I was talking about: the kiss of death, the French kiss of death. It is this is this is easily one of the most clever enemy names that I've ever seen in a video game. I just love it so much and so brilliant. Of course, after I praise it, it poisons me. How very rude of it! But luckily, I went into a hotel off camera. So that's a good thing. I don't think the flying man can be affected by status effects. So, well, except for dying, but um, that sounded a lot more morbid than I thought it was going to be. But they, I don't think they can be affected by status effects or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about them being poisoned or frozen or whatever other crazy status effects are in this game. 
Uh, let's use the PSI healing beta on us. I believe that'll work. Yes, it will. Uh, okie dokie. Um, let's continue onward. I'm probably going to end up editing out most of these battles uh, from here until we get to that tree over there because these are all enemies we've seen before. I hate your face. Yes! We defeated you in one attack! All is right in the world! This is probably important to mention, but uh, when it says that the Mr. Molecule is uh, able to concentrate, that means that it's, good, that it's uh, PSI based attacks are going to start working. Um, but anyway, we made it all this way over here, so without a further ado, let's go! Bye, awesome music. I'm really sorry that we didn't get a chance to. What happens if we. Sarab! We are in magic again! Shut up! Oh, we can go back over here. Huh, I didn't know that. Alright, now I'm probably gonna end up using the song that plays in that area in the credits because we didn't really get a chance to listen to it all that often. It's easily one of my favorite songs in the entire game. So, if that's the reason why the music is different during the credits, that is the reason why. But anyway, we are now in, honestly, one of the more stressful parts of uh, Magic Cant. You remember the Kraken that we fought earlier in the game? Yeah, those things are common enemies now. Now granted, they're a lot easier to fight because we're a lot stronger, but you're by yourself, unless you have the Flying Man, but, well, no, he's dead, but you are by yourself fighting the Krakens now. So you need to be very careful dealing with these enemies because you don't have Paula, Jeff, or Pooh with you, and now we're completely alone, so it's only Ness who's had to fight these things. Now the cool thing about this is that when you defeat the Krakens in this area, they're gone forever, they will not respawn, so that's a very good thing. I may end up fighting all of them, I'm not entirely sure if I will do that, but uh, yeah. Um, I'll probably have the stats for the Kraken in the description below, even though we fought this enemy before. Um, I don't think it's going to drop the um, item that we that it dropped earlier in the game. It might. I'm going to look that up in between videos. If it is, it's going to be in the description. I will say so in the description below, but if not, then, well, there you go. The Crossing Boom Bam attack, um, if, again, if you have the Franklin badge with you, it's, it's going to make that a less of a nightmare to deal with um, because uh, you have the Franklin badge and that reflects all lightning based attacks. Okay, we defeat another Kraken. Get away from me, get away from me, you're going to fight me. I don't think there are any um, items in uh, this part in this part of the of Magic Can in the um, Sea of Eden. That's what this place is called. Um, I'm gonna double check my notes real quick. Nope, there are no there are no new enemies in this area. And there's only three Krakens in this place. Huh. Well, I guess we did defeat them all. <laughs> and with that. We're going to be getting to... Now, I know I said this about the boss of the Sanctuary in the previous video, but we're going to be getting into what I considered, on my first playthrough, the most difficult part of the entire game. I'm just going to double... Okay, we could probably heal ourselves real quick. Um, healing beta should do it. Eh, close enough. I'm the evil part of your pain. You can't be me, because you're the one that forced me to be... Now, when I said that this was a really difficult battle, I mean it. This guy is brutal. But this is also one of my favorite bosses in the entire game because it takes the appearance of the Money Money statue, and we saw what it did to the world of Earthbound earlier in the game. It corrupted Mr. Carpenter, it corrupted Monotoli, it may have even had some role in corrupting Pokey, we, I don't really know about that, but it corrupted so much of the Earthbound world 
and even though it's destroyed, it is still lurking inside the evil part of Nessa's mind. So I just think this is a really, really brilliant um, move on um, on Simpsons Adult Toys uh, team's part to make the Monty Monty statue the embodiment of uh, the evil within Nessa's mind. But anyway, enough about that, because now we're going to be going over the stats. Nessa's Nightmare, 1,654 1, HP, 882 power points, 172 offense, 253 defense, 31 speed, 1 guts, uh, 89,004 experience, uh, 4,442 dollars. It's a boss fight, so it's not going to be dropping any items. Uh, weaknesses, it's not going to fire, 50% percent will freeze, it's 10% flash, 0% paralysis, 10% brain attack, 58% hypnosis. Attacks, emits a glorious light, PSI of Flash Omega, um, 35% chance of crying, 10% chance of strangeness, 15% chance of paralysis, or 40% chance of instant defeat. PSI Sealed Beta, defends against physical attacks, PSI Life Up Beta, recovers a 225 to 375 HP, PSI Rockin Alpha, 40 to 120 damage, PSI Rockin Omega, 320 to 960 damage. You remember that thing I said about instant defeat? Guess what happened to me on my first playthrough? This attack on literally the first turn used PSI Flash Omega. I had full HP and I died. It was rude. But this is the reason why I wanted to bring the Bags of Dragonite into this place. The Bags of Dragonite make this boss fight so much easier because it does 500 damage, so... um. YOU ARE KIDDING ME! IT HAPPENED AGAIN ON RECORDING! <laughs> Literally, the first attack, I died from the PSI Flash Omega! I had all my bags of Dragonite and everything! Well, I guess this gives me a chance to turn off the game over screen. How far did this put me back? I'll be back in a minute. Alright, Nessa's Nightmare, this is the end of you. I am going to destroy you in gold blood and you are going to like it! Um, I don't, I think I did, I think I already went over the stats for this enemy, so I'm not going to be doing that again. Um, but I have a fun story about, th about this uh, boss fight. Um, the Bag of Dragonite, I didn't think about, I didn't think to use it on my first playthrough. Um, it wasn't until my second playthrough when I started to realize just how, um, re just how useful they are against this enemy. Um, what I did instead on my first playthrough was I used the game's YES! YES! Mrs. Nightmare is destroyed! Oh my god, it's such a beauty side. Okay, before I... Um, do anything else, I just want to finish my story. My first playthrough of this game, I used the game's auto-fight feature for the first time ever to fight this enemy because I was having such a hard time dealing with this enemy, and the auto-fight defeated on on the first playthrough. So yeah, that's pretty fun. And I just heard a familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus goes to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus, but he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold that Gygus' attempt will fail. It is because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me! Listen. Feel free your mind and know what you must do. Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, 
Where should we go? You know deep within the reaches of your mind. S -s Saturn Valley. Saturn Valley, yes. Go to the valley where the Mr. Saturn live. You'll get something new there. Soon, a magic game will be no more. We must be quick. Ness already heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now! Ness was filled with the power of the giant step. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's vitality increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of Lilliput steps. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness's luck went increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Milky Well. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's IQ increased by five. Ness was filled with by the power of the Magnet Hill. Ness's vitality went up by increased by five. Ness's luck increased by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Rain Circle. Ness's guts went up by five. Ness's IQ went up by five. Ness was filled with the power of the Pink Cloud. Ness's speed increased by five. Ness's guts increased by five. Ness was filled by the power of the Lumen Hall. Lumen Hall, not Lumen Hall, I think. Uh, I may sound like an idiot. Uh, is it Lumen Hall, Lumen Hall. It is Lumen Hall. Okay. Ness is like increased by five. Ness is IQ increased by five. Ness is filled with the power of the Fire Spring. Ness is speed increased by five. Ness is luck increased by five. Instantly, Ness's mind cleared, and he realized that he possessed great power. At that moment, Ness's psychic power is radically expanded. Ness gained 200,000 experience. Ness's level is now 87. Oh, baby! Offense went up by 3. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 1. Much better deal went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Sweet! Maximum HP went up by 159. That rocks! Maximum power bars went up by 379. And finally, he had realized the power of Teleport Beta. Ness made all of the hidden powers his own. Ness absorbed the power of the land into his heart, and Magic Ant was no more. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It is time to get up.